Hello everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3 where we last left off. We started doing full reviews mission which sucks. Where the devil is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Oh sure I'm sure. Prescott? Evening, gents. Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. And, uh, put on some trousers. At once. I see. There's a goose. Or a chicken. Goose, I don't know, turkey. It's an animal. A bird. I guess I don't need to do the things anymore, I just go. Just hide my knees, Samuel Prescott. When Port Revelle and William Dodds left Lexington on their way to the Concord, they were joined by Samuel Prescott, young Doctor. Prescott was a member of the Sons of Liberty, a natural choice for an anti British nighttime ride, blah 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 blah. Prescott sort of disappears, I have a record that he may have died as a British prisoner in Halifax in 1777, but it's far from clear-cut. I suppose he could have been left Boston in the British on evacuation day, but how he was captured and when, I have no idea. And there are four words I thought I'd never say. Welcome to Lexington, Connor. Now let's find Hancock and Adams. I suppose. Hmm. No sign of Dawes. I hope he's all right. Last door. Paul, Connor. Good to see you. You need to leave. The Redcoats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor, it's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. Yay. Newspaper unlocked. Boo. Now incognito. John Hancock. Bang, 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 bang. He's a wig. Apparently. He said he's a wig, so. Tumultuous. Sent out Joseph Warren, blah, blah, Dr. Warren, not miss message, blah, blah, blah. Revere's venture was not yet complete upon returning. Astonished to find John Hancock at the, pi at the place. Okie dokie. Oh, mission's right there. Let's go do the mission. Whee! Let's go straight to the next one. That's a bunch of soldiers, I suppose. John Parker was the captain of the Lexington militia and therefore the man in charge on the day of the battles at Lexington and Concord. Uh, Parker died in September 19, no, 1775, which is this year. Huh. <coughs> April. Stand your ground, men! <coughs> Don't fire! Unless fired upon! But if they mean to have a war, let it begin here! Pitcairn. Yeah, there he is. Disperse, you damn rebels! Lay down your arms and disperse! What the deuce are you doing? Hold your position! Ravens! Traitors! They are not coming back. We will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me, Orna. Return fire! Return fire! 
You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. <coughs> Go on now! Get out of here, Connor. <coughs> oh, guess Come I'm on, on the run we'll now. Meet up with the others in Concord. John Pit 10 updated. When Thomas Gage sent British troops to Lexington and Concord, he picked Pitcairn for the job, figuring the rebels would listen to him when it came time to talk. Instead, Pitcairn was man in charge. What? What? Pitcairn was man in charge? I think he means the man in charge when his marines killed eight militiamen at the backstill of Lexington starting the Revolutionary War, severely damaging his reputation as a peacemaker. Multiple deaths can do that. Pitcairn reports on the battlefield said he ordered his men not to fire unless the rebels fired first, but that didn't stop the rumours that he commanded the attack. History's taken a kind of view. Pit Ken's now considered as one patriot described him a good man in a bad cause. Okay. Get moving, men! With little time! Lexington. I don't even know if Lexington still exists. Probably does. Go, horse! I fucking hate the horse controls in this game. I'm sorry, it is terrible. I hate it. Stick together, boys, and keep the pace. I'm not even going to bother to read that because it's going to keep pausing otherwise. To Concord, lads! Help! What's happening? No one deserves my help. Get out! Everyone, run! They take you prisoners! Run! We need to get caught in the Rescue civilian hostage. Red coats Apparently, I'm using a sword now, but that's fine by me. Get out of here! Whoa! Come on, horse. You're not mine, but you got a job to do. Now you're supposed to be a militia. You're running away at the first sign of danger. Yeah. Oh, he shows a stamina marker. Hey, I've got a letter for you. Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. And why do you think I'm met up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. I have enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Even though we've only just met. Where's you? Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> you didn't even seem to like the guy, Connor. Your ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. Yeah. Sir! Mount the barricades! No! Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. 
You got it. Wait for my signal. Open fire. There we go. Where are the next ones coming up? Wait for the signal. Prepare yourself. Ready and Time to fire, aren't you? Wait for my signal. Wait for my signal. Open fire. Shoot them. Hold fire. Order. Hold fire. Hold fire. Hold fire. Hold fire. Hold fire. fire. now. Nice. Never Wait for my signal. God, shut up. I'm not want to go into those. I want to go to this one. Wait for the signal. Fire now. God, these guys are just not stopping. Hold fire. Fire. Make ready. Shoot. Go! Hold fire! Shoot! Wow! Hold fire! See, I, they have more men than Make me, but that's ready. the whole point, I guess. Go! Why don't we just blow up the bridge? Prepare yourselves. Make ready! Go! Make ready! Wait for the signal! Open fire! Prepare yourself! Get ready! Fire, fire. now! Nice! Fall back! Fall back! We did it! They're turning tail! Yay! We killed like more than they did. They killed eight people apparently according to history, and we killed like 130. So, yeah. Random floating gun. That's the deal with Assassin's Creed games. They're buggy. did well to hold them back, didn't we? Takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Hmm. It never is. I'm not happy that I saved a lot of people and only eight people died. I need to save everyone! 
because <clears throat> I can't I'm gonna grow up. No, you can't save everyone. It's admirable to try, but when you don't, don't fucking mope about it. And for the support of the glorious cause, I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there as is no pay, man better sir, suited I to the task. Leave to assure really, the Congress that I can no think of several. Consideration could have Charles me Lee. Have accepted this arduous employment at the do I know you? I would not expect happiness. you to remember. <laughs> I Come, Connor, there's someone I want you to meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. <laughs> Sorry to pull you away Those like that, I doubt but not they the will last discharge, thing we need is that the is two of you coming to blows. Now, Connor, allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. As humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. And lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever letter. aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. Okay. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. Yeah. Continental Congress. As gathering part of boring politicians, which it was, but they were also responsible for organizing the revolution and making decisions about the United States government, which also makes them rather dull. Sorry, important. <laughs> Uh, I should actually say the Continental Congress because there was more than one. The first Continental Congress was convened in 1774 in Philadelphia to oppose the closing of Britain Boston Harbour following the Boston Tea Party, part of the Coercive Acts, all the politicians have a lovely time at the first meeting, blah 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 Congress of Confederation, 1789, eight years, blah blah, don't care, biscuits. <laughs> Hey. Still here, are you? Just want a little chat. I was just wondering, what happens now? There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must contact the broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. But no one knows who fired first. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Perhaps, but so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Yeah. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater, especially if it saves lives. Right. Okay, that's fucking bullshit. Seriously, just tell the truth and the truth will decide the actual outcome. Don't make it, don't change it so then you win. Because then that defeats the purpose of fighting at all. You're fighting a corrupt system to become a corrupt system. That makes no sense. We're gonna fight the system so we can make our own system which is just as corrupt but in a different way. See to Boston. 
began right after the back sort of next turn, the glowing all things, had fighting, lots of things everywhere. Old South Meeting House was a fireplace and evacuation day. Ow. My shins. If I had any in this game. Looks like I'm going to go for a swim. Hopefully I have enough to buy a new sword soon, because I'm, I want a new sword. I mean, I guess I could also buy upgrades to my ship. Those are really expensive. Scotch planes. I wonder if they have Scotch pigs. Time again. Huh. It's always the exact same way of getting up here, there's nothing different. It's always the same tree, the same locations to jump up to, the same viewpoint. At least in the city they try to be different. In this they just copy and paste the tree. Oh, a lighthouse. If only there was a way to jump down, but the only way to jump down is to die. So, uh, that is not what I wanted to do. But, fine. I'm dead. Me. Great Peace Hill. What is it this time? The second continental Congress. Oh. Okay. What's going on here then? What we got now? The haunted lighthouse. I'd been out in the pucker brush for six weeks. Game was scarce in the area, and my belly needed filling, so I broke for the coast and some crab or lobster from the tide pools. That's when I saw it. A lighthouse said to have been abandoned years ago, but there it was, fires a-burning. Then the sound happened. A moaning in the wind. My heart crept up my throat so high I could taste it. Just then, a ten-point buck startled, and I took after it. Got the buck, but never went back to that lighthouse. Spirits in there, I wager. And I'd challenge any man to set foot inside. All right. You owe me. You have to give me like heading up that way. Beaches up there are teeming with crab. Nobody goes there on account of the lighthouse. I figure so long as I keep away from it, no reason for those troubled souls to bother me. Oh, okay. I mean, you're right next to it, so I don't know why you just don't go there now. Off we go! Find the ghost. It's Cry, a viewpoint, wind. apparently. I've heard it. My wife's heard it. It's there. Boston Light. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Much like jazz light. Um, hi there. Why is there a random ass tree thing? Someone's trying to scare people. What is with this camera angle? So someone cut up a small tree and put it up here and covered it in a rag. 
But what about the moaning? <clears throat> I went to the lighthouse and it was abandoned. Among the debris left by its previous occupants, I found nothing more than a scarecrow. There are no spirits up there, none that must be feared at any rate. But they were talking about noises and moaning, not a figure. They literally says it here. It says a lighthouse said to have been abandoned years ago, but there was a f it was fires a burning. Then the sound happened, a moaning in the wind. Blah blah blah. But he never said anything about seeing anything. He only heard things. So how can you hear things from a tree covered in a r rags? That's not moaning. Maybe rustling, but not moaning. Hey, I'm also going to get this treasure chest while we're here, and then we'll go to the other area, but we'll probably stop before we get there. Right now, thank you. Digestive tonic. Belts. Furniture. Mounted elk antlers. Paper. Boots. Eye drops. In the 70s? Barrels. Beer bugs. Beer bug. Beer rugs. <laughs> beer bugs. Uh, another one. A headless horseman. Okay. I've never seen him myself, but I've heard the stories from here to Kentucky. A German mercenary. Hessians, what they call him. Was fighting a battle when a cannonball took his head clean off. His whole battalion was routed, and they lost the encounter. But the lad didn't die. He's been wandering the bush on horseback around the battlefield ever since, searching for his head, chasing innocence when he sees them, taking their domes for his own. He wears a pumpkin for a head now, until he finds what he's looking for. Like I said, I haven't seen him, but I have seen the bodies he leaves lying about, headless and grotesque. God rest their souls. So how do you know the other guy's headless then if you've never seen him? Uh, where is that? Wasn't showing up, so I'm just gonna ignore it for now. But with that, we shall stop here. In the next episode, we shall be heading probably back to Boston and uh, doing the story from there. So until then, this is Major Shepard. If you all enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe, check the description for donations, and all that other stuff. So until then, have a good one, guys. Ciao.